Hi there, my name is Scott Duffy with HeroCourses.com and in this video series, I'm going to talk about some of the most frequently asked questions when it comes to Azure Microsoft Exam 70-532 Developing Microsoft Azure Solutions. In this first video, I'm going to cover the overarching topic, which is what is it? What is this exam? What does it cover? Who should it take it? What kind of questions should I expect? Let's talk about this topic. So basically, this exam 70-532 covers the Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform from a developer's point of view. So this is, think of yourself as a developer. This is all the things that you need to know to be a developer in Microsoft Azure. If you have any of the following roles or you aspire to have any of the following roles, this could be for you. If you want to design Microsoft Azure solutions, program for Microsoft Azure, or implement Microsoft Azure, automation, monitoring, those types of roles would be perfect uh, to consider this exam. So what does the exam cover? So I said a couple of slides ago that this is from a developer's point of view. So think about when you're developing code, whether you use Microsoft.net or Node.js or Java or any of the languages that you use that Microsoft Azure supports. How do you interact with the Azure platform? How do you use the databases? How do you use blob storage? How do you use web apps? How do you use, how does this run within virtual machine? How do you use serverless, uh, you know, service fabric etc what does it not cover this exam does not cover networking that's a uh, IT pro and an infrastructure um, type of job so express route and VPNs and SSL and all those types of things not covered on this exam does not cover backups and recoveries again another type of job like that it's also not a very deep database exam the Microsoft does have a data exam for Microsoft Azure but this this course only covers data in so far as you're inserting into tables reading from tables from an application point of view doesn't have data catalogs data lakes data factory data warehouses doesn't have um, some of those analysis services for like for data lakes and, and Azure SQL analysis etc and even outside of the SQL database um, advanced topics it doesn't have MySQL doesn't have Postgres SQL um, it does like I said it does have tables and uh, Azure SQL and things like that but but some of those uh, other topics are not on this exam it does not have a lot of stuff about hybrid the word hybrid doesn't even appear on the exam uh, syllabus so you don't have to worry too much about creating applications that work in the cloud and also on premises and cross those boundaries and I say here it does not cover security it's very important to split this it doesn't cover security um, from the architect or from the IT pros perspective uh, in terms of intrusion detection and the Microsoft security suite and um, those management tools but it does cover your application security it covers identity and authentication so when it comes to having applications that integrate with multi-factor authentication or use uh, third-party um, authentication right so um, basically that's the type of, of things that covers identity authentication but not you know intrusion detection or that kind of stuff now going right into the syllabus this exam has stuff about virtual machines and so my virtual machines are Microsoft's infrastructure as a service offering and you can have either Windows or Linux virtual machines and a, a virtual machine is just like having a physical machine in front of you it's a little you know slightly different but you can remote desktop into it or you can SSH into it you can install software set it up to configure the way that you want and once you've reserved that virtual machine and you're charged by the hour for it I mean, you basically do whatever you want with it you can reboot it you can run applications you can monitor the CPU and if you install too much or you try to push it too much you'll have those same situations and problems that you have when you overload a server on your premises um, it talks about data and storage and so we already talked about the data stuff storage is typically blobs um, you know Azure blob service and the file service how you store and, and secure files uh, from the outside world how your application accesses it some of the limitations you know how how many files you can store how quickly you can access it IOPS things like that how to scale that uh, identity we talked about which is Azure when you hear about identity with Microsoft Azure you're usually talking about Azure Active Directory so one of those Active Directory products 
whether it's the core Azure Active Directory, uh, B2C and B2B also, you know, so, so um, again, multi-factor authentication, third-party authentication, um, any of these, what they call application and network services. And so Microsoft provides messaging, you know, um, communication, notifications, other types of services that your application can use and leverage. And finally, uh, we're talking about app services, web services, API services, mobile services, all of those uh, platform as a service and, and serverless uh, service fabric and and uh, things like that, functions, logic apps, all of those um, other types of compute services other than virtual machines, that's also covered on this exam. Ooh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a, it's not a terribly difficult exam. If you've got experience in this, uh, you do need to study for it because you know you can't just walk in there and expect to pass. There's a lot of code on this exam, and so you should get some practice in but it's not the most difficult of the Azure exams either. I do have a course on it. Yeah, you knew that was coming. So um, if you are interested in my courses on Udemy, it's a 70-532 de developing Microsoft Azure solutions exam preparation course. The link is in the description. Now I have various Azure courses. There's Azure courses for beginners. If you've never, uh, you don't even know what cloud computing is or you have not used Azure before, I've got courses for that and all of the various certifications. I've got more than 40,000 students, tens of thousands of reviews. So check out the link in the video description for details. And I would love to see you once out of one of my courses. Thanks.